Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Welcome to the Sunnah Revival series of our beloved Prophet Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Do you know what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Ali Imran? In ayat number 32, Allah firmati hai, keh di jiye ke Allah aur uske rasul ka hukum mano. Agar fir bhi nahi mane, to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bhi kafiron ko dos nahi rakhte. Allahu Akbar. So my dear sisters, let's revive some forgotten sunnahs of our Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam back into our lives. Aap sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ne farmaya ke bhook aur chhoot ko jama mat karo. Yani, khane mein alfaze takallufa na kaha karo. Maslan hala ke bhook hai, lekin keh diya ke khwahish nahi hai. So do not combine hunger with lies. The next is etiquettes of visiting the sick. Mariz ki mukammal iyadat ye hai ki apna haath uski peshani ya uski haath par rakhe aur poochhe ki tabiyat kaisi hai. Next let's see the prophet's way of listening to others. Jab aap sallallahu alayhi wa sallam se koi mulahat karta ya guftagu karta to aap sallallahu alayhi wa sallam uski taraf se tawajjhe na hachate yaha tak ke wo khud hi ruk na mool le. The next sunnah of greeting kids. Bachon ke paas se guzarte huye aap sallallahu alayhi wa sallam bachon ko salam kiya karte the unko si khane ki niyat se. The next sunnah of bidding farewell to someone. When Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam bid farewell to someone, he would say, Astawdi Allah deenaka wa amanatak wa khawatima amalik. The next sunnah upon listening to the good news. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ko jab koi khushi ka mokha aata ya khush khabri sunayi jati, to aap sallallahu alayhi wa sallam sajidai shukar ada karte, subhanallah. The next sunnah, the sunnah way of oiling hair. When Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam would intend to apply oil on his head, he would pour the oil on his palm, then he would apply on his eyebrows, and then he would apply on his eyelashes, and then he would apply oil on his head. Aap sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, baalun se pehle, eyebrows or eyelashes par, Shahadat ki ungli se te lagaya karte the. The next forgotten sunnah of gifting. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam hadiya khubool farmate aur uska badla bhi diya karte. Subhanallah. Saying jazakumullah khair is also a best written gift. The next is etiquettes of sneezing. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ko jab chink aati to awaz ko ahista kar lete. Or chehra mubarak ko thang liya karte. Alhamdulillah. And the next forgotten sunnah way of dealing with people. Aap sallallahu alayhi wa sallam bartav mein sakti nahi balki narmi pasand farmaya karte the. Or jab sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ki khidmat mein koi mehman pesh aata to aap sallallahu alayhi wa sallam uska achhe alfaz mein istighbal kiya karte. Jesse marhaba, yani aapka ana mubarak ho. The next forgotten sunnah of smiling. Aap sallallahu alayhi wa sallam har waqt muskuraya karte the, subhanallah. So my dear sisters, to know more, join us live on Zoom, Nurul Quran class after Fajr. For the extensive study of Surah Ali Imran, thrice a week, Every Friday, Saturday and Sunday with Umm Muhammad. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.